Gigi here hey guys <laughs> like comment subscribe below I'm all days and off I'm watching my son um, with his sports stuff but we are back for the SSS series self-love self-care selfish okay and we are at number six this is a juicy topic I actually wish I had a guest right now but I literally my schedule is so tight I'm going to start to bring guests on my YouTube just not yet but me and my homegirl was having this talk about colorism okay and that is the topic right now for number six of the sss series okay colorism we know about racism as black people and people of minority we know about that we've struggled uh, with that for years the the textbooks the history tells us about that but what we don't touch on a lot of the time is colorism and I was having this intellectual conversation with my homegirl and she, we were talking about goals and dreams and ambition and where we're both at in our career path and where we're trying to go. And she brung up being a dark skinned girl. And I thought that that was very interesting because I wasn't looking at it um, from a perspective of my complexion. But how you think may not be how people perceive you. So she was just saying, like, as a dark-skinned woman, as a black woman, we have to work harder. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. We do. <laughs> but we're so used to working hard that it's just like, you know what I mean? We work 10 times harder at everything than maybe a, a woman of another race. So on my list for colorism is the saying, you're pretty for a dark-skinned girl. I hate that. Throw that away get rid of that like why who made that up who made that up like that's not a compliment that's not a compliment um <laughs> somebody said that to me in high school and I was just like oh okay uh does that mean I'm pretty or am I not supposed to be pretty or like it's very like what do you say to that fellas 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 y'all may not be watching my youtube but don't say that do not say that to a dark-skinned girl that is not a compliment don't uh-uh the whole notion of you're pretty to be dark as if our skin honey the skin goes off like i really don't get what's the issue with the skin the skin does what the skin does what I don't get it. Like, I'm just so chocolatey, dark skin. Have you seen me come out of water? Have you seen me sweat? I look like a fucking Milky Way. What? Have you seen the complexion? Come on now. Dark skin girls, tap in, in the comments. Because what is they talk about? Somebody drop some chocolate bars in the comments. Because what? But my perspective is from my childhood and how I grew up. As a child... I had two best friends. One was Latina and one was like Indian. We could not look any less alike. Like all three of us looked so different. My Latina friend was very high yellow, beautiful long black hair, gorgeous girl. My more Indian friend, she was um, lighter than me, very much lighter than me, long hair, beautiful. Me, I was dark skin, little chocolate drop, you know, <laughs> very beautiful. We grew up around a lot of love you know what I mean? And we grew up around a lot of admiration, a lot of positivity, a lot of positive reinforcement. We grew up around love. So we never felt the difference between uh, each other. As you guys know, and please tap in in the comments, sometimes your own family can make you feel like you less than because you dark. And this is not just for black women. This is for Indian women, uh, all races, because other races have darker people in their family, Dominicans, whatever. They make you feel like you less if you have black features like myself or dark skin like myself but I was taught from my mother shout out to my mom you're the best mom I love you um she always instilled in me confidence and self-worth if you have dark skin children tap in you have to build their confidence because everything in the world will shut it down you understand what I'm saying I never felt like less than and even to this day as a grown woman it's hard for anybody to tell me anything because I grew up so loved and I grew up so confident 
Like, you really can't tell me nothing about my big lips, my big nose, my big eyes, anything thick and big, baby. And I love it. And I love myself. So that's something that has to be instilled as a child. Watch the words that you speak over your children. Pay attention to the people who are around them. Pay attention to their friends and what they're being exposed to. I just grew up with so much. I, I, can, I can't say it enough. And I can't thank the people who are around me enough that we never felt no difference about race or how we looked. And we looked like totally different from each other, but we were all called pretty and beautiful. And, and I was praised for my dark skin as a child. This is why I'm saying parents tap in. You know what I mean? Like you have to build your children's self-esteem because the first time I ever felt colorism was in middle school when like this boy was like chasing me around and like calling me black and stuff. And I was just like, aren't we all black? Like I'm, I'm lost or whatever. But he was just trying to say that I'm dark, but I had never heard, you know, like someone speak to me in that way. So I was like lost. And then I kind of like learned from there, like, oh, they try to make a difference between dark skin girls and light skin girls. But how would I know that growing up with a Spanish friend, an Indian friend, and we're all different complexions and we're called beautiful. So like, yeah, please parents, teachers, especially I'm a teacher. I work with kids every day. The way I build their confidence, ain't nobody going to be able to tell them nothing. Because I call them all types of beautiful, pretty, your skin, your teeth. I don't play like that. Uh-uh. We're not going to do that. Those type of generational curses and th that type of way of thinking, we got to get rid of that. We got to get rid of that. Because we're all equal <laughs> in God's eyes. <laughs> we cut us, we all bleed. Like, let's not. All right? That's a very low way of thinking. For real. And um, no shade to the lighter women. Love, I love, I'm a girl's girl. Love the girls. Love the sexy girls. But just because you're lighter doesn't mean that you're more physically attractive. It's just a skin tone. It's just a skin tone. I think that that's very, like, dumb. <laughs> All right. What else do I have on this list? Because y'all know I got my list. Um, the slavery undertones. I mean, we're, we're very much still dealing with racism. So I feel like sometimes when we're looked at as ugly for dark skin or you're dark, you're black, you're less, you're this, you're that, it's because of what another race put in our head. So that's a generational curse that we have to break. Um, also, shout out to all my dark skin girls. I don't want you to feel like you're less than any little girl who sees this, any young girls who never less than, baby. Your skin goes off. Your skin goes crazy. You're beautiful. You know, don't let anyone put you down because of your skin color and just show up as your best self and your greatest self. Yes, as my friend said, we have to work harder as minorities. Yes. But at the end of the day, like I said, we're all equal in God's eyes. Love yourself and don't let anybody project that type of nonsense on you when it comes to colorism okay because we is chocolate and fine honey i don't you know that's it gang so drop some comments in let me know what you think and your experience as being darker complected or experiences you see other women have and just like how you're going to move forward with building people up who are darker complected and not ripping them down and having more unity okay all right gang later see y'all for the next topic